If there's one word you need to eliminate from your vocabulary, it's luck. As much as unicorns and leprechauns, luck simply does not exist. And anyone who tells you otherwise is a liar, ignorant, or just a low-achieving loser who wants to justify his failures. However, what does exist, and this is where luck maintains its mysterious and omnipresent ways, is probability. Probability exists because it is purely mathematical. So when someone says, oh, MJ, he got lucky, or Warren Buffett is successful mostly due to luck, they are simply ignoring probability. To simplify probability as it relates to luck, let's say if you correctly call a coin flip, I will give you $1. The coin flips, you call heads, and boom, it's heads. Congratulations, you won $1. Now let me ask you something. Did you just get lucky? Or are you the recipient of an outcome with certain probabilities? If you're being intellectually honest, you know luck had nothing to do with it. You understand coin flips are mere 50-50. In other words, you see and understand how probability works in this scenario. So now let's change the rules. Now, if you correctly call the coin flip, you win $1 million. The coin flips, you call tails, and sorry, it is heads. Boom. You lose, and you spend the entire day crying at your missed opportunity for losing $1 million. Accompanied with the loss is the frustrating and gut-wrenching feeling of being unlucky. That's because the greater the outcome, the greater luck is perceived and or felt. And yet, the probabilities never changed. Now let's say the guy who's offering you $1 million for the correct coin flip gives you two chances instead of one. But in order to get that extra chance, you have to work 12 hours a day for one week straight. Would you take that deal? Of course you would, because you understand simple probability. Two chances at the coin flip moves the probability from 50% to 75%. In a lottery, there is one winner and one million losers. That one person who wins did not get lucky, more so than the 900,000 plus people who lost got unlucky. It is simple probability. Likewise, if you make $50,000 in a job as a teacher, I can unequivocally predict that next year you will not make a half million dollars, much less $150,000. I can also predict that you will make $50,000 next year, plus or minus a few percent, with 90% accuracy. The other 10% being you'll make much less in the case of getting laid off. So not only are you operating on zero probability on the upside, you are operating with positive probabilities on the downside. So here's how all this relates to unscripted entrepreneurship in the most simplistic way I can model it. If calling a coin flip represents entrepreneurial success in your wildest imagination, you can control how many chances you get to call the coin flip. If you're lazy, you don't try, and you do absolutely nothing, you get zero flips. Zero probability. If you put forth a standard effort, say five days a week, eight hours a day, you get one flip. But if you work hard, learn marketing, choose a growth industry with a value-added approach while operating under a sense framework, you get two flips. In all these cases, the probability exists, and you know it. 0%, 50%, and 75%. But obviously, success has much lower probabilities. Reality in life is much more multivariate and the probabilities much smaller. But here's what you have to understand. Just because you can't see or pinpoint the probabilities doesn't mean they aren't there. And it doesn't mean you cannot manipulate those probabilities to your favor. As an entrepreneur, you have the profound ability to change probability. And when you do, so-called luck, as others would call it, has a better chance at occurring. Not because you're lucky, but because you learned how to manipulate probability. So when you start a business following your passion in a crowded market, your probability for massive success might be 1 in 1,000. On the flip side, when you start a business operating under a sense framework while also looking at failure as a mere coin flip, your probability for success might be 1 in 17, 
or 1 in 6 or 1 in 3. Those are odds where luck can make an appearance and give others the illusion that you are lucky. And if probability manipulation gives you a 1 in 7 chance at success, and you try seven times, at some point, the constant probability manipulation will work in your favor. Here's another real-life example of looking at probability manipulation. Every time you leave your house and drive your car 20 miles to the store, there is a probability that you will get into a car accident and die. Let's say those odds are one in a million. But you don't like that probability just as much as you don't like your job or your life. So you decide to change probability by choosing to drive drunk. Boom, just like that, probability goes up to 1 in 500,000. Now you choose to drive fast, double past the speed limit. Boom, probability moves to 1 in 250,000. And finally, you choose to drive through every red light on your way. Boom, probability is now 1 in 4. You see, you have a choice in life. And the right choices moves probability. You can control hard work. You can control the industry you work within. You can control money chasing versus value adding. You can control how many tries you input into the system. You can control how you spend your time. You can control where you live. You can control how your mind thinks, how it classifies events. You can control working in a system where non-zero probabilities are eliminated and positive expected value bets are made. So instead of waiting to be lucky, start working to move probability. Get more chances at coin flips. Start inputting more odds into the system. Do so and you will have the privilege of having strangers on the internet call you lucky.